You cannot start your day without the worker's prayer. Monday to Saturday 5.30 a.m. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago. All workers are people who are on the ground. On call or sometimes have to put their lives at risk. From the start of the day until late at night. Trying to solve problems to put others' mind at ease. In unpredictable situations. Wherever they are, to try to make the economy go forward. This is why we bring to you the Worker's Prayer. Arise and shine, be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today is Friday, a day that we break chains, a day that we call upon the name of the Most High that He may shield us, that He may close our body. In all the universal churches of the Kingdom of God today, we are going to be closing your body, closing your body against all forces of darkness, asking God to place a light barrier around you and His hands upon you, that no darkness may touch you nor befall you, because whatsoever work of obia, witchcraft, sorcery, curse, a spell, the works of envy, jealous, you name it, it's not going to work against you once you have this light barrier, once God's hand is upon you. So this Friday, you have to make sure you set your foot in the universal church of the kingdom of God, because God will close your body and no evil will touch you. Let us see what is God's promise for this day. Promise of the day. For the word of God says, You have given him dominion over the works of your hands, and you have put all things under his feet. Psalm chapter 8 verse 6. The word of God says that God has given us dominion. He has placed all things under our feet. He has given us control over all the works of His hands. So we cannot accept to be under the yoke of darkness. We cannot accept to live under bondage. We cannot accept to live with distress, to live a discontent and unhappy life, a life of curses, a life of sorrow, a life of pain, a life of misery, a life of losses. There are people that misery has become their ruler. There are people that poverty has become their ruler. There are people that sicknesses and diseases is but ruling their lives. But you are not supposed to be controlled. Those are not supposed to have dominion over you. Quite the opposite. You must have it all under your feet. This is the reason why I want to summon all of you today to join us in one of the universal churches of the kingdom of God so that you may place these problems under your feet and the chains that are bind you may be broken and a light barrier may be placed around you and the hands of God upon you. Close your body against all form of evil and darkness darkness that they may be trying to put you down. Once we have said so, we have come to our moment of prayer, the worker's prayer. This is our moment of prayer. My God and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I determine that today all chains that are bind your people shall be broken. I determine that everyone who now prays with us when they set their foot in any universal church of the kingdom of God nationwide, they are going to be a God shielded. You are going to place around them a light barrier that will prevent evil from touching their lives, curses from destroying them. They are going to have their body closed. And it's going to happen as well, O oh Father, that everything they do will prosper, will flourish, will succeed, will develop, will grow. And the results they want to have, they will have indeed. I ask you that your light may shine upon Trinidad and Tobago. That this light, my Father, may remove all darkness, may remove all negativity. And so, O oh Father, you bring protection upon our land and all those who dwell in it. So I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And those who agree and believe say, Amen. Do you believe? 
This protection comes from above. This protection comes from God, the Father of light. This protection is the result of the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. And speaking about the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, let us see what the Holy Spirit does to a person when such is filled with His presence. I was being bullied at school, and like I would go to school, and then I would come home, and I would want to come to like a peaceful home, but none of that was peaceful. I was just alone. I had like my supposed friends, but in some way my friends were the ones who introduced me to like self-harm from cutting myself. That felt like that wasn't even enough. So I started to even burn my own skin. And I started questioning because we would go to church, but it was like only like here and there that we would go to church. And I started questioning like, what's the point of knowing God? What's the point of having like, they say God is this, God is that, but I never saw him like in my life. For me, I was just like, this is it, you know? So I, I tend to take my life away, um, you know, several, several times. I got to, to know of the Universal Church um, by a family member. He, uh, it was my uncle. He actually invited my brother. And we started seeing like a change in him. We started seeing a, a difference. He no longer was like in gang begging and nothing like that, you know? He gave his life to God. So seeing his change made me want to think, okay, I have really nothing to lose to try one more last door. When I heard um, the pastor, he talked about a Bible verse that really marked my life. He said that I can do all, th all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I started doing the chain prayers on Fridays and that helped me out a lot, you know, to be delivered from the, from, especially from the anxiety, but it just helped me to be delivered from my anxiety, from my sadness, my depression. So when I heard about the Holy Spirit, that He's the one that, you know, consoles you. He's the one that gives you strength at all times. He gives you this joy. He gives you this peace. I remember it was, uh, it was a Friday night. We were, we were seeking, we were seeking, and we were seeking. And then I just remember I received this peace that was like, there's just no words to explain. But it was just like I received in that moment that peace that I needed, that I was looking for. I'm no longer a person who is weak. I'm no longer a person that gives in to my problems or gives in to depression. I can say I am I am truly happy. I have this joy. I no longer want to take my life away. I can truly say that I'm, I'm happy with making the decision that I made a few years ago to give my life to God. This is what the Holy Spirit wants to do in your life. In this fasting of Daniel, the Holy Spirit wants to sanctify you, make you His dwelling. On the 23rd of this month of August, we are going to have our wedding with God. The day that God has set aside to fill you with His presence. Today, we are going to be guiding you about what to do in this fasting of Daniel. What preparations must you make in order for you to be filled with the presence of God. Because on the 23rd, it will be a remarkable day. So make sure today you will make yourself present in one of the universal churches of the kingdom of God. 6, 10, 12, 3, especially 5 p.m. or half past 6 in the evening. Because what God has in store for you is far beyond anything you ever thought about, you ever imagined. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. Now, on the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me, and let him drink, the one who believes in me. Just as the scripture said, out of his belly will flow rivers of living water. Who is thirsty? Who believes? Receiving the Holy Spirit is not for people who are satisfied or who are just making an attempt. He's only for those who are truly thirsty. People who may even be dying of thirst. And he said to me, Right, blessed are those who are invited to the banquet of the wedding celebration of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true words of God. The bridegroom is this day will be a memorable day. Prepare yourself. Sunday, August 23rd, the last day of the great feast of the Fast of Daniel at a universal church near you. 
The Bridegroom is coming for you. Be ready. You cannot start your day without the worker's prayer. Monday to Saturday 5.30 a.m. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago.